Today we pause to remember the legacy of the 2023 college football season. Easily one of the worst years of my life. An emotional roller coaster. I can't stop smiling, this is the greatest. In a lot of ways, we came into this year the same way that we're leaving it. Without a single SEC win, watching Nick Saban lose by being just a little too optimistic. Destroying an FCS school, because I think we can all agree that a loss for Bama is a win for America. I'm sorry, you can't talk me down after a shutout win like that, okay? The Vols are back. The sky is the limit for Tennessee, okay? I am ready to get my heart broken once again. Oh, what's that? Liberty's an FBS school. <laughs> oh, yikes. We said goodbye to friends and loved ones. Coaches. Alabama's dynasty. Joy. Our swagger. Financial stability. Bo Nix's 43rd year of eligibility in the Pac-12. And whatever Gary Danielson is. Six perfectly good footballs. Edible mascots. Wait, am I, am I reading that right? Oh man, I gotta get back in the bowls. And our belongings. Hey, y'all might wanna lock your stuff down. Ole Miss is out there stealing again. It's not stealing. It's the transfer portal. We say goodbye to the four-team playoff, which leaves this world just as she came in being owned by the Big Ten, even though technically those were the only two years that the Big Ten won. Big Ten's back on top, baby. They're not back. Who leaves a discontented three-star wideout just sitting out in the open like that? That's mine now. Hold on, let me check something here. Yep, Iowa still hasn't scored. <laughs> yeah, well, we actually shut Wisconsin out in the fourth quarter so we could win, and then we fired our defensive coordinator, so that probably tells you all you need to know. Well, I found the Terrapins of Maryland to be quite the challenge. Listen, I'm just gonna say it, okay? We play Michigan 100 times and they win just that once. And we took them to overtime, okay? So I don't wanna hear any more about we didn't earn that spot, okay? I don't wanna hear any more about Florida State or Georgia. And speaking of that, where is Georgia? He said he was going to a funeral. See, this is gonna be a lot of fun because I know we both got a lot of frustration that we need to unload. Well, here's the thing. I am not at full strength right now. What, do you have 11 players? I think maybe I, they're not my best. Well, all right then. Buckle up, buttercup. This is simultaneously hilarious and nauseating. <laughs> what did I tell you about bowls? Oh, they're not for me anymore. Sorry, won't happen again. Bidding farewell to another year of college football comes with the embrace of a new year and all of its possibilities. With an end zone under construction, an arch manning, new coaches that hopefully take us back to the Jackie Sherrill days where Mississippi State did not lose because we beat ourselves. I don't know, like another seven win season, probably. I mean, I'm, I'm happy about it, I guess. But I'm also dead inside. A new assistant coach that used to be a really good head coach for us, but we had to get rid of him, but we didn't really want to. Now he's back, but as an assistant coach, so. This may be a terrible idea. Do we really have to embrace a new year? Can we just go back to a time when we didn't pay our players? And of course, the long-awaited debut of the 12-team playoff, which is an overwhelmingly positive change that will undoubtedly provide a path to the championship for an often overlooked SEC team that grows stronger by the day and stands on business. I'm sorry, not, not to sound like Joe Coy here, but I did not write these words and I did. <clears throat> this is the greatest funeral that I've ever been to. Is that, oh my gosh, is that a piece of confetti?